Hi everybody, today it is Wednesday the 10th of February and here is your rocking recall for today. We have a mixture of divisions for the 2 times table, the 5 times table and the 10 times table. Pause the video now, good luck. And here are your answers, pause the video now to see how many you got correct. And here is your place value challenge for today. You need to use the more than, less than and equal to symbols to make these calculations correct. So is 12 more than, less than or equal to 35? Is 22 plus 3 more than, less than or equal to 20 plus 1? Pause the video now and have a go. And here are your answers. Pause the video now and check to see if you use the right symbol. And here is your geometry challenge for today. You need to find the area of this rectangle. Now remember the area measures the surface inside of the shape. Pause the video now and have a think. Can you remember how to work out the area? To find the area of a rectangle, you need to multiply the width of the shape by the length of the shape. So what is 7 centimetres times 3 centimetres? Your answer is 21 centimetres, but remember when we write area, we write 21 centimetres squared. Our learning objective today is to be able to present data using a pictogram. To be successful, we need to know what a pictogram is. We need to represent the data in our tally charts in a pictogram and we're going to answer questions about the data that you have collected. Yesterday we created our own tally chart and we know that we can represent information in lots of different ways in maths and that we call this information data. Today we are going to focus on pictograms. Pictograms use pictures instead of tallies or numbers to represent an amount. Pictograms can be laid out vertically or horizontally. Some show a total column at the end and some do not. Sometimes a picture in a pictogram can represent more than one. If you have a look at the pictogram that says favourite fruit, one banana equals two children. However, when you look at the pictogram with the books, one book equals one book. Some pictograms have titles, some don't. There's lots and lots of things here for us to think about. And here we have a pictogram that's showing some data about a group of children's favourite colour. What you're going to do now is you are going to interpret some of the data that has been collected in this pictogram by answering the three questions below. Question number one is asking how many children chose yellow as their favourite colour? Question two, how many more children chose pink than green? Three, what was the least popular colour and how many children chose it? Now look very carefully at how many children each coloured circle represents. Pause the video now and have a go at answering some of these questions. Nine children chose yellow as their favourite colour. We had to remember that the last circle was half, which means it was only representing one child. How many more children chose pink than green? Here, we would have had to have counted how many children chose pink, which was six. How many children chose green? And that was five. And work out the difference between the two. And our answer is one. Number three. What was the least popular colour and how many children chose it? The least popular colour was green and only five children picked it. Your independent challenge today is to create a pictogram that matches the same data that you collected in your tally chart yesterday, which showed the favourite type of snack in your class. So you need to find your tally chart you did yesterday and keep it handy because you're going to need it next. Attached to your daily email today would be this template that you can use to create your own pictogram. If you'd rather, you can draw your own. You must make sure that today you complete mild 
and hot slash spicy. You need to do mild first in order to answer the hot slash spicy questions. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your pictograms. And here is your plenary activity for today. You have a pictogram that's displaying data about a class and their group of pets. You need to use this pictogram to answer the questions below. Which is the most common pet? How many pets are there in the class? How many more rabbits than hamsters are there? How many fewer dogs than cats are there? Remember to look closely. Each picture of an animal is representing two children and some of the pictures of animals are in half. Pause the video now and the answers will be on the next slide. And here are your answers to the plenary activity today. The cat is the most common pet. That's because there are nine children who have a cat. How many pets are there in the class? The total was 28. How many more rabbits than hamsters are there? The answer was three. And how many fewer dogs than cats are there? The answer is also three. Well done, guys. Great job. And I'll see you tomorrow for more statistics.